This is SDR News and Geekazine.com's coverage of NAB, brought to you by HP. Continuing coverage of NAB, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. We're here with Dan over at the, the on the desktop side of things. And, and you know, we've been talking to all these people how they're using production and they're using HP for production, right. talking about all these servers, and then they say, and we're using the desktops, and they're going, they're they're just godsons with with uh, with computing power and stuff like that. So we go well. We need to take a look at these desktops and see what's going on here and how HP is kicking. Because there's one guy that was even going. I I switched from a competitor over to HP and I couldn't be happier. Right. And uh, so let's let's take a look at some of these. The first one we're going to take a look at is what's what's the model number on this? This one is the Z820. Okay. And the Z820 is our flagship workstation. Okay. So when we talk about a workstation, we mean essentially a PC for professionals. Okay. It comes with Xeon branded CPUs from Intel, right. which gives you high reliability, a lot of features and functions. Uh, ECC memory, which is error correction code memory, so that okay. makes sure that your data has good integrity. Okay. And um, professional graphics, usually NVIDIA Quadro although we also support AMD Fire Pro. All right. So those things together make a workstation, but we build in a whole lot more into our workstation than just the parts and pieces that come from vendors like Intel and NVIDIA. We also have um, um, custom design that we do in-house in Fort Collins, Colorado, okay. where the mechanical design of the chassis is extremely important for reasons of serviceability, reliability, um, the fact that we sell every workstation with a three-year warranty out of the box. Mm -hmm. We need to have products that actually don't fail, you yeah. know, because... Yeah. The heat dispersion, right. uh, sound, Thermals, so on and so forth. Acoustics, yeah. exactly. We, we take care of all those things with very, very careful design, simulation, verification, and everything. Um, so the one just behind me here is the Z820, mm -hmm. but I have a slightly special version of it here because this is what we call the red edition of the Z820. Uh, oh, the red edition? What, 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 pray tell, is the red edition? Well, you guys know about red camera, yes. right? So the guys at Red Camera had this question come to them all the time, which is, guys, your cameras are awesome. What the heck do I edit on? Right? And you need a kick-ass system for that. You need yeah. a system that has um, responsive storage, good CPUs, good graphics, a red rocket card, mag readers for the, the, the cartridges that come off the cameras and so on. Yeah. And so they reached out to HP. We've already, we've already got a business relationship, you know, marketing relationship. They reached out to HP and said, guys, let's do a red edition of your top-end workstation okay. so that when people buy the red edition of the HP Z820, they know they've got a killer system that can take a 4K, 5K workflow from, from a red camera. 4K, 5K, is that going to be also scalable up if they go even more than 5K? Sure, we'd think so. Um, you can especially get in, in, even better performance. There's a couple of things coming. Red has announced a new rocket card that is going to give uh, vastly improved uh, encoding performance relative to the current rocket. And then HP just announced a relationship with, IO, with, with sorry, Fusion IO yep. with their IOFX card which is another tool that's very useful for uncompressed 4K and 5K workflows because it's um, non-volatile, high, high bandwidth storage inside the workstation. Okay. So let's take a look inside of the Z820 and see what's, what, what, what you got inside there. Okay. Our Z820 workstation is usually silver color on the sides, but this is the red edition, so it's colored black. Okay, go figure. But <laughs> it is the red edition. So, so that's how you can tell it's the red edition. So I just took the side panel off the workstation here, and inside everything is sleek and smooth and solid. It's designed for aesthetic pleasing look, it's also designed for serviceability with just your fingers, and it's designed for thermal and acoustic and mechanical integrity. Okay. Let me start with the power supply, which comes out as easy as that. Going to the bottom of the case, we have this plastic and steel baffle here, which is used for mechanical and, th and thermal ducting. So it holds in the cards. In this case, I have a single graphics card down there, which is an NVIDIA Quadro um, 6000. Yep. So that's a very, very high-end, ultimate-end graphics card. Um, and this workstation can, t can take two of those if you want. Oh, okay. It's got enough power. That power supply is 1.1 kilowatts. And then I have this assembly here, which... I did with one hand. Good job. <laughs> this thing here, we informally call the hovercraft. It's a cooling assembly. It carries six fans. Each of those fans is applied to exactly where the air is needed. Now, it may, you may think that with a whole boatload of fans like this, it's going to be really noisy. The opposite is true. 
turns out that if you put a fan exactly where you need that fan to move the air right through where it's needed, then it's doing the most benefits. Okay. I call it topical, coo topical cooling, so, right where it's needed. So the fans are, are running uh, slower or are they, uh, go are, are they running the same speed? They're running slower. Okay. And in fact, if you can see through this connector, every fan has individual c control in real time. The motherboard takes care of it by monitoring temperatures on all the subsystems in the, on the motherboard, okay. CPUs, graphics, and so on. And each of these fans will be spun up or spun down as needed to maintain the temperature but, go, but run no faster than needed, otherwise it gets too loud. Um, here are the CPUs. There are two CPUs in this design. This is a dual socket motherboard. Um, Intel's design here actually has the CPU with memory on both sides of it. There's memory above and memory below. And that's Intel's server architecture. These are server class CPUs. In this workstation, it's the E5 2600 series of Xeon CPUs from Intel. These things may look a little bit like car radiators. Yeah. That's because that's what they are. These are liquid-cooled radiators. <laughs> um, we don't always require the liquid-cooled solution, but with 150-watt CPUs, we do. Okay. And so this is a self-contained radiator. And then the fan in that assembly just sits right on the front of the radiator and takes the air exactly where it's needed. Now, you said it's 150 watts. You have to have some sort of special uh, power uh, supply or power outlet uh, for these workstations to run? No, you don't, because the overall power envelope for this is about 1.1 kilowatts, which is kind of 10 amps on a 110 volt supply. Okay. And so pretty much any office space, you can draw 10 amps from a circuit and be pretty safe. Okay. Just as long as you're not plugging in with the coffee maker or the microwave and stuff like that. You got it. That's okay. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So and then and then uh, so we got the video card. We've got the ra the radiators. The, the that's exactly, exactly what they are. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the red. Where's the red system in this? Well, so this one is a mock-up. I don't actually have red hardware in here. Okay. Um, typically, you would find this thing here is a cage that we designed to hold the the red mag reader. And this one doesn't have one in it, but it could, right? Okay. So this is this is the. A, a new component that was designed by, by HP for the creation of the red edition of the of the Z820 workstation. Okay. It's a, it's it's an amazing desk. I actually wish I could bring this desktop home because it'll do exactly what I need it to do in less time. Do we do we know any render times uh, uh, using like a Adobe Premiere or something like that? I don't have any idea in my head of rendering. One of the things that really excites me though about Premiere Pro is the media encoder. Mm -hmm. Adobe has done a completely awesome job of parallelizing that workflow. Okay. So if you look at the utilization of the CPU cores, which in this workstation you can have up to 16 cores, okay. 32 with hyperthreading, um, some of the codecs like H.264 to HD, something like that, um, it can light up almost all those cores in parallel, which is some awesome coding by the guys at, at, at Adobe. That really impresses me. That, that is pretty impressive. I can't wait to, to see this in action. And we could talk about this all day, but you know, we're kind of running out of time here. So, so basically, and we still got one more workstation we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, check out, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to another video, check it out, uh, go over to geekazine.com, of course, sdrnews.com, check out the video um, about the Z1 station. This is the Z820 workstation. Uh, do we have a price on this, by the way? The workstation itself starts at about $2,000, okay. but you don't get too much for that. Uh, a well-equipped edit station, probably more like 11, 12K. Okay. You know, by the time you've added decent CPUs, 48 gigs of memory, say, and a good graphics card okay. and some storage. So definitely something for the very serious, uh, somebody that needs to get things done on a schedule type uh, uh, producer out there. So. Totally. Studios and you know, Hollywood, they, they buy this kind of thing all the time. All right. Well, Dan, thank you very much. HP.com is wherever we can go to take this, take a look at this, right? HP.com slash workstations. Slash workstations. We're going to, well, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to check out the Z1 workstation. It's going to be another video, so check it all out over at Geekazine over at SDRnews.com.